Welcome to this video. This joint project of the Iowa Legislative Services Agency and Drake University Law Library is intended to teach the public how to find information on the Iowa Legislature website. For additional information, please see the video description. This video demonstrates using the Iowa Acts Quick Search box to find an Iowa Act by its citation. After an Iowa General Assembly session, all enacted laws are published in the order in which they passed as session laws in Acts and Joint Resolutions of the General Assembly, otherwise known as Iowa Acts. The Iowa Acts include all laws of both a permanent and temporary nature, as well as joint resolutions passed in that General Assembly and session. Session laws are typically consulted in research if the law has not yet been codified, when you are tracing the history of a statutory provision, and if you need to see a single law in its entirety. If you already know the citation or number for the Iowa Act you wish to view, the Iowa Act's Quick Search Box is an efficient way to see the full session law. The Iowa Act's Quick Search Box provides drop-down menus where you can enter the various components of your citation. As an example, I'll bring up Chapter 1010 of the 2004 Acts using this Quick Search Box. First, I find the relevant Quick Search Box. The Iowa Acts Quick Search Box is located on the home page in addition to other locations on the site. Once I locate the right search box, I need to select the General Assembly I want. When I click on the GA drop-down, we can see the General Assembly number followed in parentheses by the years covered by that General Assembly. I want the year 2004. Skimming the list, I can see that's part of the 80th General Assembly. Once I click on that choice, the options in the session box have changed, and I can pick from 1, 1.1, 2, or 2.1. Each General Assembly covers two years and starts in an odd-numbered year, so 1 represents the first session or year of a General Assembly, in this case 2003, and 2 represents the second session or the year of 2004. The point one options represent extraordinary sessions of the General Assembly, which are special sessions that occur outside of the regular session. These do not occur in every General Assembly and will only appear as options if there was an extraordinary session or sessions for the year selected. From the citation information, I know that I want either Session 2 or Session 2.1 because the even-numbered years are the second sessions of the General Assembly and I want 2004, but I don't have enough information to know immediately whether I want the regular or special session. If I leave the session set for 2.1 and look at the chapter choices, I can see that 1010 is not one of my choices. So I will change to session 2 and then select my chapter 1010. Once all the drop downs have the selections that I want, I click go and I get a PDF of the Iowa Act I selected. Two things to note. First, note that this content opened in a new tab. If the content does not open, the pop-up blocker in your browser may have prevented it from opening. This illustrates why it is a good idea to turn off your pop-up blocker when using the Iowa Legislature site or add www.legis.iowa.gov to your list of safe sites. Because it's a new tab, I cannot use the back arrow to return to the previous page. However, I can select the first tab, labeled Iowa Legislature, to return to that page. Second, we are seeing the session law as it would appear in the print version of the Acts. In this case, the page starts with Chapter 1009 before the content we want, Chapter 1010, begins. In addition, Chapter 1010 continues onto the next page. Thank you for watching. Links to the other videos in this series can be found in the video description.